Well, hello there, fabulous. How are you? <laughs> Thank you for coming and spending time once again with me. I have some information that I'd love to share with you. I am Coach Renee with QE3 Inspire. And once again, I'd like to bring some wisdom, a bit of wisdom that you may not have thought about in this particular way. Now, I am wanting to talk about self-love. I know, <laughs> I know you're going to say, all right, Coach Renee, everybody's talking about self-love. What could you possibly want to share about self-love that I've not heard before? Great question. <laughs> I embrace a whole being um, perspective uh, to life, a whole being approach. And whole being looks at all of our dynamic components and not just from one view or two or three views, but all of the components, all of the areas that make us dynamic and phenomenal. <laughs> so I look at the mind, the body, the emotions, the social, the financial, the spiritual, the professional. And did I say emotional? I might have said that. But because, uh, you know, Coach Renee is a little bit more emotional probably than most other people, I get to bring it up again. So there are several components that come together to make us phenomenal and dynamic and just glorious. <laughs> just as you won't look at an arm and call it a body and you don't look at at a leg and call it a body all of the, the the body parts come together in gloriousness and then that's what you call a body well they're they're connected deeply and if one part of your body is not doing well then it typically will you know bleed over to another part that's why I think the whole being approach of looking at life is the only approach there is. It's the only way. Um, so if you don't mind, I look at self-love in this very same way. It's not a practice, right? You're not going to do it and then don't do it and then still have a glorious outcome. It's not that way. It is a part of life. It is something that needs to happen every day in your mind, with your body, through your emotions, with that social element of you in your profession, in your relationships, and the social uh, essence that you have but so through those emotions so it's all has to come together and it all has to ooze that love for self and then you can have it you know um, come out and spill over into the other areas of your life. So, looking at it from a whole being perspective, a whole being approach, pardon me, um, self-love is um, having a healthy regard for your own well-being. Um, self-love is seeking harmony within all of you, all of those components that we talked about. And it's also, self-love is also achieving happiness um, for
from understanding your needs and desires, right? Uh, from um, prioritizing appropriately those needs and desires. And it's also taking care of managing those needs and desires. I believe all that is self-love. And it's kind of kind of like soil. <laughs> it's as basic as dirt. <laughs> so we place seeds in soil because it is um, has so much nutrition because uh, it gives the seed everything that it needs to grow not just the nutrients but also water is in that soil so uh, the soil is given into that seed and that seed is able to suck up everything that it needs and then grow and and it finds the power and it finds everything that it needs to to burst out of the shell of that seed and then grow up into a plant that ends up in an animal and then either it ends up in us because we either eat the plant or we eat the animal or we eat both <laughs> so um, Self-love is just as crucial as dirt. <laughs> just like that base layer of dirt that um, manifests everything outside of us, everything outside that you see, because it creates everything inside of us that you don't see, but that um, is so important. For the next two weeks, we are going to be talking about self-love, and we're going to be coming at it from so many different uh, places because I've got to do that whole being approach, y'all. I, I can't, I can't, I got to. It's so important that we come at it uh, from the mind, from the body, from the emotions, from the spiritual, the social, the financial, and the professional components. We've got to um, sit in those spaces, in those areas, and just allow things to kind of marinate. You know about marinating. Anything that we've marinated has just a, a little something, something extra. <laughs> I do want you to consider these um, seven, over the course of the next seven days, consider these seven statements. I will write them out for you to have. But each day, take one of these statements and just sit with it. Allow it to enter your whole being and allow it to just get all the way in deep within you, within your soul and allow it to uh, bring the clarity and bring the wisdom that is just for you in this moment, for this week. So, you may think about these statements as, you're, as we're speaking, as I'm speaking now, but take them one day at a time and just allow them to do what they need to do, all right? So, I am filled to overflowing with love. For myself in this moment and every day. I choose to honor my body 
by moving beyond my comfort zone and challenging myself in invigorating ways. I identify the feelings that are presenting themselves and wanting to be expressed and I accept them. I acknowledge the need of my heart to connect into the sweet essence of my spirit so I am guided into peace I am confident in establishing healthy boundaries with my friends and in initiating new relationships with new friends and in standing my ground in whatever ways are healthy for me with each of those friends. I give myself permission to create the work life that will manifest everything I desire for my life right now. Today, I have every financial resource there is at my fingertips, and I call to myself everything I need. in this moment. Well, my friend, these are powerful statements for you that I hope you will use over the course of this week. They are grounded in self-love in a whole being kind of way. <laughs> I hope you will check back with me over the course of this week and next week because we've got lots of goodies to give away. Lots of goodies every single day over every social media platform that's out there. So make sure that you like, that you connect, that you follow, that you comment, even if you just want to say hello. I look forward to saying hello to you. Um, but I'd love to hear from you so that I can be sure that I am answering any questions that you have and honoring any challenge that you may need to hear my thoughts on. I would also love to share that we have a giveaway. We have a giveaway of the Gugog. And for those of you who are not aware, Gugog is get up, get out, get going. <laughs> and that is the name of um, a series, a series of books. And um, based on my life with my father telling me, get up, get out, get going, Renee. And so I've captured the wisdom that he gave me in this series. But there is a Gugog Mindfulness Manifestation Strategies for Deliverance. I created that and it is a book. 
plus audio compilation. Um, there is music and I am professing affirmations coming from a whole being perspective and speaking wisdom and power over your life for you, for your deliverance, for you to use for your own deliverance. This is a very powerful tool. We will be giving it away to our winner during our live Q&A that's coming up Saturday, June 30th from noon until two. And the way for you to um, have your name entered into that um, giveaway is for you to connect with me, uh, share the content uh, if you feel so moved, comment, um, give me a question, let me hear from you in some fabulous way. I am on um, several social media platforms and I invite you to meet me wherever you are and you if you engage with me um, three four times a week your name will be entered and you can be chosen as winner uh, for that giveaway on Saturday June 30th in a Q&A so bring your questions and um, we will speak with you directly in a very personal way uh, Saturday, June 30th from noon until 2 and I will let you know on which platform we will be going live. Hey, thank you for taking time out. I look forward to talking more with you and answering any questions that you have and speaking directly to whatever challenges may be showing up in your life. I am Coach Renee. You can go to uh, QE3 Inspire for more tools. You can go to QE3Synergies.com for a retreat that will help you um, get stronger, manifest your breakthrough, get connected with me and other like-minded individuals, and have a glorious time. Go to QE3Synergies.com and that information will be uh, below as well. But all the information will be there for you. I look forward to talking with you again very soon. Thank you, my friend. I look forward to you.